I'm playing point guard on this basketball team. It was a very average basketball team back in the high school days, and I was a very average point guard. I was quick, but oftentimes the ball didn't stay with me, if, if you know what I mean. And But the reason I was playing that position actually probably had more to do with defense because I was a great defender and that's why the team that we are playing wanted to do all they can to get me out of the game because if I could be pulled out of that game I would not be defending their top shooter on their team and you know what they succeeded they betrayed all the rules of the game or the ones that seem to be obvious. Yeah, they came at me in a lot of different ways as I was playing offense and I continued to retaliate in their betrayal with the same attitude. I am going to betray these rules. And there I was sitting on the bench at the end of the game watching their offensive player make basket after basket. Hey Daily Dosers, my name is Dave Inns and I work with Life Groups here at North Coast and we are continuing on in our Daily Dose series called Dream Killers. It's the story of Joseph and dealing with all how he lived life in all the dreams that he had but how he was time and time again betrayed. So how do we go about moving forward when someone or some situation betrays us? And we've all had some, have small examples that we can think of that. And some of us have very, very large ones. And there's issues that we've got to work through. But how do we keep from falling off the ledge or ending up riding the pine or sitting on the bench like what happened to me, even in those greatest things? And Paul gives us a little bit of insight about how to do that. It's in Romans chapter 12, verse 9 is where we start. And we actually had this as a subverse in Life Group Homework a week or two ago. And here's what it says. It says, love must be sincere. Powerful passage there. We have to have sincere love. But here's what he says next. Hate what is evil. That's not what you would expect to follow after that. It's like, wait, hate what is evil. And here's what he's saying. He says, there is bad stuff out there. And your job is to not approve it because it's wrong. Betrayal is wrong. So, we've, so we're given permission. To, hey, that is not right. But here's what he says. He balances this. And here's, here's where he goes. He says, cling to what is good. Cling, in other words, grab onto it, hold on to it as tight as you can. Yeah, make the call of what it is, but don't let yourself lose that love, that care of what it means to be, uh, continue to give God's character in the midst of that situation. He goes on to say, be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal and focus. Keep your spiritual fervor, your focus, Serving the Lord, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. When I read those things, I'm like, wait a minute, I was betrayed. How do I do that? And he's not saying necessarily to do that to the person there, but how do I have that in my life? How do I keep the clinging to that while making the call here? And here's what I, one of the things that popped to me is in that game, what needed to happen to help me gather me? I needed a timeout. I need either the coach to say, time out, Dave, you need to gather yourself. You're starting to play their game. You need to play our game or myself. And here's what I know in my own life. I got to do timeouts. It's like, wait a minute, I'm going in the wrong direction. I've got some indicators that are taking me uh, in a way that I know isn't beneficial, even though part of it is my, my frustration and of, of it being wrong is legit. But how do I take it so it doesn't take over myself? So giving myself a timeout being connected to those people. That's part of the character qualities he's saying here is be devoted to one another. He's, Paul says, or Peter says later on in Peter, 1 Peter chapter 4, he says, above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitudes of sins. Doesn't approve. And it lets it be, begin to be able to deflect because you've got the power of who our God is in you. When we do that, when we take that time to connect to God, connect to his word, connect to people that are going to influence that devoted peace, that's where we're going to sense God's spirit flowing in us. And we're going to experience what I would say, God's unpredictable love, a genuine, sincere love. Daily Dosers, I hope that encourages you today to show some unpredictable love to whoever you may encounter today.